In the future, everything was under control. People were created in laboratories, not born. Everybody had a place. There was no pain or sadness. Everything was perfect, or so it appeared. A powerful government ruled the entire world. They decided everything. People took medication to make them happy. Nobody was unhappy or angry. Life was simple and easy. Everybody followed the rules. John lived in this world. He worked at a factory. He made machines. John took his meds every day. He never asked questions. He did exactly what was told. He was like everybody else. One day, John met an elderly man. The man told him about the past, a time when people were born, not created. They felt all emotions, both happy and sad. John was curious. John started asking questions. He wanted to learn more about the past. He stopped taking his medications. He felt different. He felt more awake. He saw the world differently. John's friends noticed the change. They told him to take his medication. They said being different was dangerous. John did not listen. He wanted to know the truth. He felt brave. John discovered books, old books from before. He read about love, pain, and freedom, things no one discussed anymore. John sensed something new. He felt compelled to live fully. He spoke with the old man more. The man informed him of places where people were still free. They lived outside the jurisdiction of the government. John wanted to visit these places. John chose to leave the city. He wanted to find free people. His friends thought he was crazy. They were afraid. They didn't understand why he wanted to leave the idyllic setting. John departed at night. He walked for several days. He saw the world beyond the city. It was different. Not perfect, but genuine. He felt both scared and excited. He kept going. He discovered a small village. People lived simply. They were born, not created. They worked, played, and loved. They felt every emotion. John was amazed. He felt as if he belonged. John learned from the villagers. He worked with them. He felt both happy and sad. He felt alive. He realized what he was missing in his previous life. He found joy in simple things. But the government learned about the village. They described it as a threat. They desired to control everyone. They did not want people to be free. John and the other villagers were in danger. Soldiers approached the village. They told everyone to leave. They said the village would be destroyed. John stood up. He said they'd fight. They wanted to keep their freedom. The villagers prepared to defend their homes. John assisted them. They made plans. They were prepared to fight for their freedom. John felt strong. He was prepared to lead them. The soldiers have returned. A large fight began. John and the villagers fought bravely. 
They wanted to preserve their way of life. The fight was tough. Many people were scared, but they refused to give up. Finally, the villagers emerged victorious. The soldiers left. The village was safe. John was a hero. He had helped save the village. He felt proud. He knew he'd found his place. Following the fight, the village resumed its peaceful state. John lived happily. Every day, he learned new things about life. He enjoyed the freedom. He enjoyed feeling everything, both good and bad. However, the world outside the village remained under control. The government did not change. They still created people in laboratories. They continued to have complete control. John realized the fight wasn't over. He decided to return to the city. He wanted to tell others about the village. This is about freedom. He aspired to change the world. He bid farewell to the villagers. He was determined. John has returned to the city. It appeared different to him now, cold and fake. He saw people taking their medications. They were like robots. John was sad for them. He wanted to help. He began talking to people. He informed them about the village, about real life. Some people listened. Many did not. They were afraid, afraid of change, afraid to feel. John did not give up. He found others who shared his feelings. They had also stopped taking their medications. They wanted a change. They formed a group. They intended to teach others, to demonstrate that there was more to life. They had meetings. They shared their stories. More people arrived. They began to see the truth. They desired freedom. They wanted to feel. The group grew. John was inspiring them. The government took notice. They viewed John as a threat. They attempted to stop him. They claimed he was dangerous. John kept talking. He kept fighting. He wasn't afraid. One day, John was apprehended. The government took him. They claimed he was a criminal. He'd broken the law. John claimed he fought for freedom, for real life. He felt proud. John was put in prison. However, it was too late to stop his ideas. People spoke about him. They discussed freedom. They questioned their lives. John had started something big. Protests began. People demanded change. They did not want the medicine. They wanted to feel. They wanted to live. The government was losing control. The world was changing. Finally, the government decided to change. They could no longer keep everyone under control. People were waking up. They wanted a different life. The world was becoming new. John had made a difference. John was released from prison. He saw the world he had helped transform. It was not perfect, but it was authentic. People were free. They were alive. John felt pleased. He returned to the village. He informed them about the city, about the change. The villagers were pleased. They welcomed him. 
John knew he'd found his home. He was at peace. The world kept changing. People learned how to live freely. They felt everything. It wasn't always easy, but it was real. They were thankful. John had shown them the way. John grew older. He saw the world he had helped transform. He fought for freedom. Throughout one's life, he was pleased. He had made a difference. He is remembered as a hero. Ultimately, the new world was brave and free. John's dreams had come true. People exist, love, and feel. They were really alive. John's legacy lives on. The world was forever altered.